A heat map is a visual interpretation of numeric data where different values are represented by different colors. In Excel, a heat map is used to display individual cells in different color codes based on their values. Heat map can be created by using conditional formatting color scale. Create a temperature heat map to visualize temperature data in a certain region. Select the data set on which you want to create a heat map. On the Home tab in the Styles group, Click on Conditional Formatting and select Color Scales. Default color scales are displayed. Hover over them to see the preview of the color scales and their description. Click on a color scale, for example, red, white, blue to apply to the selected data. Higher values are highlighted in red, middle in white and lower in blue. The colors will adjust automatically when the cell values change. For example, change 38 to 78, the color of that cell is changed based on that value. Create a heat map using custom color scale. When applying a preset color scale, the lowest, middle and highest values are highlighted with the predefined colors, red, white and blue in this case. All the remaining values are highlighted with the different shades of the three main colors. To highlight all the cells lower or higher than a given value with the same color, you can create a custom color scale. Select the data set on which you want to create a heat map. On the Home tab in the Style group, click on Conditional Formatting and select Color Scales. Click on More Rules. New Formatting Rule dialog box opens. Select three color scale from the Format Style drop-down list. For minimum and maximum value, select number in the type drop-down and enter the desired values in the corresponding boxes. Enter 45 for minimum value and 80 for maximum value. For midpoint, you can select either number or percentile, normally 50%. Assign a color to each of the three values. For example, select green, yellow and red. The preview box shows the transition of colors based on the lowest to highest value. Click on OK. Custom colors are applied to the selected data. All temperatures below 45 degrees are highlighted in the same shade of green and above 80 degrees in the same shade of red. Create a heat map without numbers. Heat map is based on the actual cell values so they cannot be removed. For example, in this heat map to hide the cell values without removing them from the sheet, use custom number formatting. Select the heat map, open the format cells dialog box. On the number tab, select custom. In the type box, type three semicolons. Click on OK to apply the custom number format. Now the heat map displays only the colors without numbers. Create a heat map with the square cells. Set column width. Select all the columns and drag any column header's edge to make it wider or narrower. A tooltip will appear showing an exact pixel count. For example, set it to 45 pixels. Remember this number. Set row height. Select all the rows and drag any row header's edge to the same pixel value as columns, 45 pixels in this case. All the cells of the heat map are now square shaped. Column headers have been cut off. To prevent column headers from getting cut off, change their alignment to vertical. Select the column headers. On the Home tab, in the Alignment group, click on Orientation button and select Vertical Text. Now increase the height of the column to fit the text. Adjust the alignment as needed. Now we have a heat map with square cells with the headers not being cut off. Create a dynamic heat map using a checkbox. If you don't want a heat map to be there all the time, you can hide and show it according to your needs. To insert a checkbox in the developer tab, click on insert and in Form Controls, select the checkbox. Click in the cell where you want to insert the checkbox. Position the checkbox by dragging it. To remove the text, checkbox 1, 
right click on the checkbox select edit text in the context menu and then delete the text to capture the status checked or unchecked of a checkbox you need to link the checkbox to a cell right click on the checkbox and select format control format control dialog box opens go to control tab select whether a checkbox is checked unchecked by default enter the cell that you want to link to the checkbox in the cell link box for example enter e7 when the checkbox is checked the linked cell e7 displays true otherwise false now create a heat map select the data set on the home tab in the styles group click on conditional formatting and select color scales select more rules in the format style drop down list select three color scale select formula from the type drop down list under minimum midpoint and maximum in the minimum value box enter this formula in the midpoint value box enter this formula in the maximum value box enter this formula these formulas use the min average and max functions to get the lowest middle and highest values in the data set b3 to m5 when the linked cell e7 is true that is when the checkbox is selected in the color drop down boxes choose the desired colors click on okay button now the heat map appears only when the checkbox is selected and is hidden when unchecked to hide the text displayed in the linked cell select the linked cell and open the format cells dialog box in the numbers tab click on custom enter three semicolons in the type box click on okay the number is hidden but you can see the value in the formulas create a dynamic heat map without numbers to hide numbers in a dynamic heat map create one more conditional formatting rule that applies a custom number format first create a dynamic heat map select the heat map on the home tab click on conditional formatting select new rule in the new formatting rule window select use a formula to determine which cells to format enter this formula where f7 is the linked cell the rule is applied only when the checkbox is checked click on the format button in the format cells dialog box go to number tab select custom type three semicolons in the type box and click on okay click on okay to close and apply the new rule selecting the checkbox will display the heat map and hide numbers switch between no heat map heat map with numbers and without numbers you can do this using radio buttons insert three radio buttons in the developer tab click on insert and select the radio button click in the cell where you want to insert the first radio button position the radio button by dragging it to remove the text option button 1 right click on the radio button select edit text in the context menu and then delete the text now add two more radio buttons to capture which radio button is checked link the radio buttons to a cell right click on any one of the radio button and select format control format control dialog box opens in the control tab enter the cell that is linked to the radio buttons in the cell link box for example enter f9 click on okay all the radio buttons are linked to this cell the cell displays which radio button is checked no heat map 1 heat map with numbers 2 heat map without numbers 3 first create a common color scale rule for both types using the or condition on the home tab in the styles group click on conditional formatting and select color scales select more rules 
in the format style drop down list select three color scale select formula from the type drop down list under minimum midpoint and maximum in the minimum value box enter this formula in the midpoint value box enter this formula in the maximum value box enter this formula use the or condition to return min average and max values respectively only when the value in the linked cell f9 is 2 or 3 that is heat map with or without numbers in the color drop down boxes choose the desired colors click on ok button now heat map is displayed only when you click on second or third radio button to display the heat map without numbers when you click the third radio button create another rule select the heat map on the home tab click on conditional formatting select new rule in the new formatting rule window select use a formula to determine which cells to format enter this formula where f9 is the linked cell the rule is applied only when the third radio button is selected click on the format button in the format cells dialog box go to number tab select custom type three semicolons in the type box and click on ok click on ok to close and apply the new rule now when the first radio button is selected no heat map is displayed select the second radio button to display the heat map with numbers select the third radio button to display the heat map without numbers to hide the text displayed in the cell select the linked cell and open the cells dialog box in the numbers tab click on custom enter three semicolons in the type box click on ok the number is hidden but the value is used in the formulas to download practice excel file please click on the link in the description if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.